The early music department at Peabody has anywhere from a half dozen to a dozen early music majors and then many more students who study early music as a secondary instrument or play in one of our many ensembles. We have chamber ensembles and two large ensembles, the Baltimore Baroque Band, our Baroque Orchestra, and the Peabody Renaissance Ensemble, which I direct. I think it's safe to say my background in music is a lot different than the typical Peabody faculty member. I played in a rock group in high school, studied jazz for a year, and spent a couple years in the Caribbean doing nightclub work. My goals as a teacher and as a department head are to give students the tools they need to become flexible and creative musicians and to have fun while they're doing that. First year, right? Yeah, first year too. You have to sing in a Renaissance ensemble next year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> Much of the music that we play, the scores we play from, do not have indications of tempo, of dynamics. Many don't even have tell you what instrument the piece was for. There are very few arrangements from the period that involve instruments from different families. So there's a creative process that doesn't exist in later music, and that's really fun to get at. Lord, light me to thy blessed Okay, beautiful. I think, uh, author of light, revive my dying sprite, redeem it from the snares of all confounding night. Beautiful, and then, Lord, make that in more internal. My job as chair in this department is made very easy by the fact that we have a world-class faculty, uh, performers who have been successful nationally and internationally in solo, chamber, and orchestral roles. And these are faculty members who are equally committed and nurturing to the students as they are knowledgeable and virtuosic. And we have a further plus in that we have a wonderful collaboration with both the voice and opera departments, which is rare for early music programs and conservatories. Yeah.